Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome to Pick and Play, the series where I pick a game out of my game collection and play it for you guys. So once again this week, we are going to be continuing on with some more Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. Well in this case, Luigi Mix, because we are playing as Luigi through the story of this game. And we are off to collect some more music keys in oh, World yeah. 2, so let's go ahead and not waste any time, because I'm sure you all will love to see Luigi do some more dancing. Let's go! I wonder what kind of world we got this time. I mean, the first one was pretty generic, but this one looks like a water-based world. And it looks pretty empty. Maybe the second key is over here. Look out! Oh no! These cyclones going to eat us for breakfast. Luigi, you have to do something. Oh no, we've been caught. Help! Help! Scrap! Help! <laughs> oh god, what is going on? Hello? <laughs> okay then. Oh, it's Toadette. Hey, what's the deal? What did you do to my hotel? Good question. It looks like a corkscrew now. Nobody wants a vacation in a corkscrew. You better fix it now. Repairs will take a long time and we're in a hurry. Don't tell me. Wait a minute, I got him it. And maybe we can fix it in my dancing. And by we, I mean you. Yeah, who did not see this coming? The hotel is twisted up like a corkscrew. You better fix it. Jump, jump, jump from Super Mario Bros. 3. Alright. Only I really only play this game to listen to the music, to be honest. Who cares about the gameplay? I guess watching Luigi dance is kind of a good thing, too, I suppose. Look at him go. He's so good. He's so good. He's about to fall off the edge, though, but I mean, he's still good. I mean, he's still got to fix this thing up by doing whatever he's doing. <laughs> I will never get over this right now. This is too funny. Okay, now, you know what? I actually now understand why it's from Mario 3. So good though. You move it sounds great though. Literally. Everybody is watching you. Everybody's not watching me. That's kind of creepy actually. You're doing pretty good. I'm still trying to get uh, with those uh, double notes, because I know you can use the X, Y, B, and A buttons for the double notes, but I don't know exactly how to do that yet. So I'm still learning as I go here. So far, the game's been pretty simple, though. But once I figure that out, I'll be good to go. That's so weird. Why does he say that? Oh, of course. That just magically happens on its own. Of course. Because that's how dancing works. If I could fix things by dancing, I'd dance all over the world, man. And of course, I get a solid C. Man, I suck. <laughs> Game is very strict on its uh on its grading. I think I've mentioned this before too in the last episode, but whatever. But that's just how it is, I guess. See, that didn't take very long, Mr. I'm in a rush. It looks good as new. I hear that you guys are looking for some shining globes. I saw them, you know. They flew in the direction of the sea. Oh boy! That's where we're going. Let's see, it's fraught with danger. Fraught, I tell you. Hey, I'm not done talking. How typical of us to just run at the face of danger and not even pay attention or listen to what the heck is happening. Well, whatever. That's just how it is, I suppose. We'll never find the key if it fell into the water. I can't see anything past the surface. Of course. Whoa, whoa look out, Whirlpool! First the twister, now this? What terrible luck we've been having. Oh no, I can't control this thing, so very dizzy. Is that an island over there? Let's head that way. I would love to know. How did you, how did you get out of that whirlpool? How? Let's rest for a second, I almost lost my lunch out there. What a whirlpool. The dialogue in this game is so bad. Not even the mighty SS Brass could survive for very long in a whirlpool of that magnitude. You got out of there quite easily, I might say. What was that? Bananas? Maybe our luck is changing. I love bananas. 
But not this much. Oh, I'll catch it before they hit us. Oh my goodness. It's a raining banana. Try to grab as many of them as you can. Look out for the spinies, though. Alright, sounds good to me. I guess we're off to collect bananas and avoid the spinies. This really is just like a, a basic version of Mario Party. At least this minigame reminds me of Mario Party anyway, but it's easy enough. All you have to do is just collect good old bananas. Look at this. Easy. Oh no, I almost... I suck. I suck really hard. And while they trip you up real good, they try to fool you. But they can't fool me because I'm Luigi. I mean, Luigi doesn't get fooled by nobody. Wow, you really cannot collect them all, so good to know. And we're coming on the time limit here. We got more than enough bananas to survive in this island for five years. If we eat five bananas. Well, no, not five years. Excellent. I'm dumb. But there we go, we did it, cool. We got more than enough bananas to survive. Anyway, what was the purpose of that minigame? To get food? To avoid the bananas? I don't know. Well, that was fun, but how are we going to get past the whirlpool? Maybe someone on the island can help us out. Sure. Who could help us out with a big bomb sign? Oh, hoy, matey. Welcome to Pirate's Plunder. And, of course, we could do this stuff. You know, I'm not even going to bother with it. Yankee. Eh? This is the boogie booster. It is for your ship. As long as you have this lucky charm attached to the stern, you'll be making it through any whirlpool. This is great, but with this booster, whirlpool will be no problem. No, me press this booster to be not for there. And why do you have it out on display? You have a point there, laddie. These are keen eye you have. There can only be one way to solve this. A duel. If you win, I'll give you my precious treasure. But if you don't, we'll fish to see who gets the booty. Oh boy, time for a dance-off contest. It's a fishing battle against Lakitu. Who will be the one to catch the most cheap cheeps? Good question. I have no idea who's going to win this. I guess that's what the contest is for, to find out, right? Oh, why are you going this? Well, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Man. How can you dance and fish at the same time? You're crazy, man. Look at this. Oh man, I missed the freaking cheap cheap, man. I'm crazy. Absolutely wonderful. Of course the cheap cheeps are throwing me off on the screen. Like it's making it really hard to see. Oh my god, look at them dance. This is so great. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. But the fact that they're dancing in the fact that the Chiefs are moving across the screens is throwing me off. And of course, yes, this is how you fish, guys. If you, want to, if you don't want to know how to fish, just follow them and you will forever know how to fish. And look at this. So good. <laughs> this game is ridiculous, I have to say. I think that's why it's so fun to play, because it's so ridiculous. It's over the top, and I think that's what they were going for. But it's still hilarious to play, for sure. Okay. I'm really getting thrown off here. There we go, cool, we did it. Not bad. And we got max meter and everything. So if we get a freaking C or whatever, I'm going to be mad. Ha, ah, there you go. That's master? how we do it up in the... Wherever we are. We did it. Nice. Alright, moving on forward and see what happens, because I'm very curious as to how this is going to play out. Shiver me timbers, you best in me, so I installed the me boogie booster on your ship. I keep you safe from the swirling the spirits of the sea. I ought to feed you to the fishies for taking me treasure, but thank you anyway for your kind patronage. Did we pay? All we did was dance, until we fish again. Yeah, we fished, that's all we did, we didn't pay him nothing. Alright. So we're going on the water or something, or is that how this is gonna work? Do you hear that? The Wopo is humming a song. I bet the music keys have something to do with this. Some of us have used the key to create this whirlpool. We're going in, aren't we? We're going right on there. The path of the key is down into the whirlpool. Yuck! I feel sick already. I shouldn't have eaten all those bananas. Oof, here we go. Oh yeah, follow that beat, Luigi. Okay, I figured we were going to go underwater. I was confused for a second. 
as the why in the whirlpool from pomp and circumstance find the music key at the bottom of the sea dive as this brass dive if you step on the spine it will, will cause your dance to decrease significantly the red spines move fast all right so avoid the spinies is the uh or no we're supposed to hit the spinies right are you ready yes yes i guess we'll find out as we literally go on hyperspeed mode through the water over here It's weird that we're playing Pomp and Circumstance, though. That's so weird. Oh, okay, you're not supposed to hit them. Alright, good call on my part for hitting that one and finding out what happens. Seriously, the moving objects are throwing me off so hard. And I have no reason why Luigi's dancing to this, but hey, you know what? He can do what he wants. I will not take over and tell him what to do, let me tell you. Cause I have no idea. Dang, look at him turn that steering wheel. Seriously, his dancing is throwing me off really hard. Cause I want to look at him dancing, but I don't want to look away from the screen. I mean, this game hasn't been overly difficult. I mean, I could have done better, I feel like, on the scoring if I was paying attention, but literally the background and everything that's going on, like these bloopers, they're throwing me off. It's so distracting. How are you supposed to follow this if... I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy, but seriously. I mean, if you're like one of the five people that actually have this game, I, uh, I want to know how you do it, because I have no idea how I'm doing it right now. But there we go. We completed that stage. And we got a B. I'll take it. B is better than the C, I tell ya. Why do I keep saying that? I tell ya. I don't know. I'm bad. Alright. Are we at the end of the... Of the... Yeah, it seems that we are. Maybe we're gonna be fighting the boss and that'll be it, right? I have no idea how this is gonna play out. But there it is! Look at that! It's the second music key! Wow, what's going on? What's this tremble? Ah, he looks mad. Oh no. I don't speak squiddish, but I'm pretty sure he said that he won't give us the key. What do you mean? Squiddish is stupid. I'm not sure if dance will work this time. He's got a lot more legs. <laughs> what does that have to do with it? Alright. But here we go. We've got to dance to get the music key back from the tentacles of the giant blooper. We will do it. Step on the mini bloopers as they line up with arrows. Big bloopers, nasty tentacles will move faster than the mini blooper, so we will do it. Alright. So I imagine this is the boss of World 2. Big blooper battle. Let's do it. Are you ready? Here we go. I like this um, feel of this song though. It's like, <laughs> look at Luigi dance, he's crazy. But the, it feels like it's in a third, like a three pattern right now. Like every beat is like a three. I don't know if that makes sense, but I've played music, so I clearly know what I'm talking about. But the song is in like a nice slow three. So good. Or no, it's actually in a fast three. I'm dumb. That's what I mean. The song itself is slow, but is it a fast three feel? I guess. I don't know. Luigi's not even dancing to the rhythm of the song right now. That's what's throwing me off right now. I mean, these tentacles are going downtown, but... I mean, seriously! We're not we're not in a dance battle, yet we're dancing. What is this madness right now? This game is so crazy. Hey, you can do it. The game can do, the game can do what it wants. I will not complain. It's probably one of the weirdest games I've ever played. Which is, I guess, saying a lot, because I don't play very many weird games. I don't know. Oh, look at those dance moves right now. I really want to look at Luigi. But I can't look away from the screen. It's the struggle of playing Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. Did we do it? Alright, we did it. We defeated the blooper guy. Oh boy. He doesn't even look like he's damaged at all. And we get a nice A. Beautiful. And we didn't miss anything. Awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and save. 
And get back the key. Yahoo, you got the second music key, way to go! Yay, where did you learn those moves? That was so cool! There were only two keys left, we will have them in no time! Voice crack! Oh boy! Well now we're out of this... Popsicle stand, I guess! And of course, we got a bonus stage. You got only got one chance here, jump high, look up to the sky, and give it all you've got! Start with your feet on the uh, watch for trampoline. Step off both arrows when the timing is right as you jump as high as you can. Uh, watch for the trampoline. So I have on both arrows when the timing is right. Okay. I kind of get it. Are you ready? I hope I did this right. Oh, I messed up. I did not know how that worked. Maybe if I was playing on the actual dance pad, I would know, but I tried. I tried, guys. What? 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 Yeah, good. You're telling me. I have no idea what I just did either. All right. So that is going to be the end of yet another episode of this game, you guys. Join us next time, or next week, rather, as we go through World 3, which looks to be like a nice, good old, uh, scary, carnival-based level. I am very excited to see what plays out here. So with that being said, everybody, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time for the next Pick and Play episode. See you guys then.